Hello people, my name is Mubashir from lmscrafter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can install the localhost on your Mac. Localhost is the best if you want to install any PHP applications. Most probably you're watching this video because you are looking to install the WordPress on your Mac. Okay, so I have opened the XAM. In the past, I, I love this app. I use this app a lot in the past. So recently, I find out the best alternative of the XAM in the market and that is introduced by none other than WP Engine. So it's called the local by WP Engine. So I'm going to, I'm going to install and show you that how it's it's easy and really really simple to set up the things with uh, local by WP engine all right so uh, without further ado let's just get started okay say uh, local by WP engine okay click on the first link all right click on the free download it will ask you either you are using Mac or Windows, so we're using Mac version. Just simply put out your name, your last name, the email address, and uh, choose your platform. So in case we're Mac, so we, I have already actually downloaded and installed this, uh, you know, uh, software. So I'm directly going to open that. Okay. So once the installation is done, that's how the software is gonna look like. There's your all the website. This you have to log in simply on WP Engine website. It's just a one minute account creation, and you will be good to go. All right. So once the account creation is done, the software is right in front of you. So all you need to do is simply click here. Okay. From here, you can actually create a website. Simply start a WordPress website. Uh, by clicking here and create from the blueprint you need to actually install you know to actually upload the blueprint on this software you know your pre install themes element whatever you want that but in this scenario I will choose uh, this option create a new website I will simply click here I will say the website my name um, sure and next okay uh, I will choose the preferred version but if you want to do a little bit of customization based on your requirements if you're doing some kind of a programming development or if you have some certain requirement you can actually make the customization here for php version the web server or the database okay but well previously actually these are the by default so you don't need to change anything i will go with the preferred version okay i will simply click here choose my username and password i choose admin admin you can change your email address in case um you you have to release the password in the future but because i'm using in the local host i can just simply go into database and retrieve that so i will just simply click on add a site all right so that's it it's really really simple you don't need to do a lot of the uh, you know add the thing start the zap and thing like that let me put my password in so you know i'm really amazed that how simple that a local by WP engine is you don't need to do any of these things just simply with a few clicks your WordPress fresh WordPress installation is ready so we have our WordPress website ready just simply uh, click on admin WP admin okay before I will go at the back end of the website every time when the website you have to start you just simply click on click on the start website and just simply click WP admin panel if you ask your username and password and that's it all right we are at the back end of our web wordpress website we can uh, start working on it by adding a new plugins and the new themes or whatever you want okay hope you really like this video please subscribe to my channel for the more amazing video i'm actually working on my new content i'm going to upload the more wordpress related videos or the whole website creation in the future so please uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video thank you so much